smallest model in Kia's growing lineup, the Picanto is a city car rivaling models like the Skoda Citygo, Citroen C1 and Suzuki Solerio. Aimed at trendy young urbanites, it does have chic looks thanks to its bold colours, big grille and trendy alloy wheels. But the Picanto is also one of the oldest cars in Kia's range. However, it did receive a facelift in 2015, subtly improving its design and introducing even more equipment. So should this shopper be on your shopping list? Let's find out. Kia says the Picanto has a big car feel. And if they're talking about kit, then we certainly know what they mean. I don't normally like listing off equipment, but in this four trim, it defines your whole experience. I mean, in this 12 foot long car, you've got heated seats, a heated steering wheel, keyless entry, cruise control, climate control, a Hollywood set of lights for the vanity mirror. And not only that, but you also find the ultra responsive seven inch touchscreen and sat nav system. You're finding more expensive Kias like the Sportage. So much good stuff in here. It's like the motoring equivalent of a whiskey liqueur. And it's not all plastic fantastic in here. By that, I mean that all the materials look pretty good and feel okay to the touch. The driving position's perfectly fine. And I particularly like some of the really neat features around the cabin. So for example, you've got these flip out cup holders, which uh, come out with the press of a button. And because there's so much room above them, it means you can fit really quite a large cup of coffee in there. You've also got a big glove box, deep door bins, and also an AUX port and USB port down here. So you can plug in your phone and even charge it on the go. Now, you can get a three-door Picanto, but we definitely recommend this five-door, particularly because it doesn't actually cost any extra, but it certainly does make getting in and out of the back far easier. And once you're back here, actually, it's not too bad. I mean, there's enough headroom because this is quite an upright car. And okay, there's not loads of legroom, but I don't feel too cramped. Step around to the back of the Picanto though, and you can see why because it's certainly not a very long trip and these rear seats reach almost to the back of the car. The boot is quite deep though, so you can stack a few bags on top of each other. But with just 200 litres, it is some way down on the Citigo and Solerio, which both have around 250 litres of space. But if there's just two of you in the Picanto, which is quite likely, then you can fold these rear seats down and they do go quite flat. So it might have the gadgets of a big car, but does it feel as lively and nipping out of traffic as you want a city car to? Well, let's get the bad news out of the way first. This Picanto has the clutch pedal more like an on-off switch, so it can be a bit hard to get going smoothly, and you may even stall it a couple of times. But once you're up and running, it's less of a pain, and we definitely rather have this five-speed manual than the four-speed automatic, because that blunts performance and economy rather too much. And yes, it can be rather fun actually, with steering which is a little bit too artificially heavy at higher speeds, but isn't too bad, enough grip from the tiny front tires, and just enough body roll to let you know when you're approaching the car's limits. There's two engines available, a one litre with 64 bhp, or this 1.25 with 84, and it's the latter we'd recommend, because while the one litre does look more economical on paper, in reality, you'll probably get around 60 mpg with either engine. Reaching 60 miles an hour in 11 and a half seconds, the Picanto is actually faster than most of its main rivals, but there is a problem. When you rev it, it is quite loud and a bit coarse. And while it is a city car, that can mean that on the motorway, it's not as refined as something like the Citigo. Picanto is one of the cheapest cars on sale, starting from around £8,300 and going up to this four trim level which costs just under 13 grand. Still the Citigo is cheaper, starting from just over 8000 and costing up to around 11000 But this Kia does have a trick up its sleeve as it comes as standard with a seven year warranty, which is more than double the length of the Skodas. So the smallest Kia looks good, it's very well equipped and it should prove reliable. 
but it is starting to show its age a bit with a smaller boot than new arrivals and fewer motorway smarts. So if most of your driving is going to be around town, then the Picanto remains a great choice. But if you're downsizing from a larger car, then there are alternatives which will keep you feeling more mature. But could you see yourself behind the wheel of a Kia Picanto? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click on the inquire button to find out more details about this car or for any other models, visit carkeys.co.uk. And to watch more reviews, click on one of the links on screen now.